Saturday, the 28th of April 2018, Kansai Plaskin FC vs Vipers SC Naro NTAWO Ground, Mukono All Games will kick off at 3.30 p.m. Rules, if the teams are still tying by goal at the end of the match, extra time of not more than 15 minutes each half shall be played to Dittery mean the winner. The team with more goals after extra time will be the winner of the match. If the teams are not separated by R23, three kicks from the penalty mark shall be applied to determine the winner. One leg will be played the final will be played in Kumi District in June with SC Village Ugu and KCCAFC having confirmed their slots in the semi-finals of the Stanbik Uganda Cup. There are two more places left to complete the four-team lineup this weekend. Kansai Plaskin a team playing in the FUFA Big League will host Vipers SC in Mukona on Sunday while Synergy FC another side playing in the second division will be at home to Perlin FC in Misaka. Proline FC and Synergy FC almost share similar struggles in their respective leagues both fighting relegation but have had a good campaign in the Stand Bik Uganda Cup and coaches of either side have promised a great display come Saturday. Ryan Senyondo the manager of Synergy FC indicates that they believe in a similar playing philosophy and thus the game will be interesting for the fans. Quote, this is certainly a renewal of acquaintances have faced Proline FC before and almost share similar beliefs in terms of playing style and I believe we shall offer a good performance for the fans. He said during the pre-match press briefing on Thursday. Brian Senyondo manager of Synergy FC during the press conference Senyondo added that his team is prepared and focused on progressing to the next stage. This is our best performance in the competition but that doesn't mean we are contented, we are prepared and ready to go as far as we can, said the soft-spoken tactician Senyondo. This is a game between teams that play a similar style and our engagements with Synergy FC have been close. They have won twice and we have also managed two wins in the four encounters so that shows how Saturday's game will be. His counterpart Mujib Kasul is aware of the threat that Synergy FC pose and thus indicates Prolin FC will go into the game with full commitment. Prolin FC coach Mujib Kasul at the press conference, we have of late improved in the league, winning our last two games and this motivates us going into the game against Synergy FC. These two teams have played each other in the past. We have players with strong attachments to Synergy. Progressing to the next stage in this competition will add on to our confidence to fight for safety in the league, Kansai Plaskin head coach Angelo Lanisi has warned his opponents Vipers SC indicating his team is prepared and ready to eliminate the 2016 winners. My team is in good shape and we are unfazed about playing Vipers SC. They play in the top tier league and we play in the second division but if you are keen enough, the gap between them and us is small, I believe home advantage will play in our favor and the fact that we have improved in our recent games gives us confidence ahead of the game, said Lonnie C. Angelo Lonnie C. is in charge of Synergy FC. To reach the quarterfinals, Kansai Plaskin eliminated Mbarara City FC while Vipers SC edged Kira United. The final of the 44th edition will be played in Kumi District in May. KCCAFC are the reigning holders after defeating Peta Black Angels in the final last year in Arua. Vipers SC couldn't avail a technical person for the press conference today. Main photo, Brian Senyondo of Synergy FC, L, and Proline's Mujib Kasul at the press conference held on Thursday morning at Kadi Kadi in Lugo.